So I'm going to do some things in this episode that you might think is cheating for this series. You let me know. Now, when we left off on day 259, I had 26 and a half thousand trophies and 46 brawlers. But in this video, I want to get to at least 28,500 and another brawler or maybe even two. So I started off on day 260 and I had some brawlers that were pretty low in trophies. So I played my Grom and Mr. P for the next couple of days because I knew to reach my goal in this video, I was going to have to get at least all of my brawlers to 500 trophies. Mr. P was going pretty darn smooth, but I don't know if I just suck with Grom or maybe it was my randoms, maybe even both, but I had a hard time with him. However, on day 262, I decided to give it a go with one of my worst brawlers, BB. Now, before anything, I of course leveled her up to power nine and cashed in some of my club coins to get that heal gadget. I played a couple of games at higher trophies with some friends and I did okay for a bit. I mean, we still lost, but yeah. Clearly, I needed some practice with her, so I went back to my randoms, and honestly, I was doing pretty decent. Also, I noticed that maybe it's not just me that has trouble avoiding her bubble, because I was smacking people around with her and actually having a pretty good time. After that, I collected a bunch of rewards because, well, I wanted that star power. Now, I started off on this day by playing some BB again, and on my very first star drop of the day, I got a legendary. I mean, it's not a brawler, but you know what? I'll take the star power. But my star drops weren't over for the day because I got an epic on the next one and then followed that up with a mythic disappointment. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, it's a skin. It's a skin. Oh, dang. I got so excited. That has to be one of the worst mythics that you could get. But beggars can't be choosers, so I'll take it. And I guess I was feeling good. So I pushed my crow back over 700 and then promptly tilted my spike and my gray. Playing level nines now is really rough compared to what it used to be. Oh my gosh, dude, look at, look at, look at even... The... There's nothing I can do here. But I finished off the day pushing Mr. P closer to 500 trophies and crossing 27,000 total trophies in the process. Now the next couple of days, I took some time off. I took Tilly and Harper to a huge bouncy castle and I did some work on some end tables that I'm making for my family. Then on day 269, when I was just collecting some rewards, I realized that I need four chroma credits. I think I'm gonna get Maisie. I, I, I played her up on my main account the other day and she was actually pretty fun. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. This is what I was wanting. Okay, if we go here. Yes, this is giving me enough chroma credits now to go ahead and buy a new brawler. I'm gonna get Maisie because she's such a good defensive player and I, I find her fun to play. And promptly levels her up to power level nine with a gadget and the star power. Now on the very next day, I was playing my new brawler Maisie and just completing some quests when I realized that I could get the brawl pass this season if I wanted to. 178 gems, so technically I could get this brawl pass, but it'd be at the very end, which means I can wait and see what the next brawler is going to be, whether I want to collect all those rewards or not. Now with that decision tabled for now, I completed my quest and then decided to spend the rest of my coins leveling up another brawler as far as I could. Now this was not long after the update and we only had four game modes at the time. Now I wanted to play BB, but none of these maps were really great for me. So I decided to just go ahead and play some duos. Dude, the, the jukes though, the jukes though, the jukes though, these guys can't hit nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, 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 squeak. I had a quarter of a teammate. And then the second game, I mean, I didn't do that great, but we still managed to win thanks to my Doug. He wanted to play again, so who am I to complain? His attitude changed pretty quickly after the next game, and he left faster than my dad did when he went out for milk. But just a game later, he got replaced with the new and improved Doug, who played a couple games with me, and we won them both. Take that first, Doug. And then I finished up the day playing the Brawl Academy Challenge and collecting my pretty cool pin. I graduated something. Now for this video, I just been playing pretty casually on and off, but I decided I needed to ramp up the progression if I was gonna make my goal. So I decided to push some Maisie. Started out in a little duo showdown and it was fine, but I wanted quicker games. So of course I swapped over to Brawl Ball. And then Andy invited me and then Pizza joined as well. And that my friends is when the destruction started.
And why is it that time always just seems to fly by when you're having fun and playing with your friends? And before I knew it, Maisie was over 500 trophies. And since we were on a roll, I decided it was finally time to finish off my Grom, who had just been like waffling under 500 trophies. And what's better than pushing two brawlers to 500? Pushing three. So I fired up the BB and we played her to over 400. Well, it was a solid day of gains thanks to my friends, Andy and Pizza. This day started out as honestly a frustrating one. I had a bunch of quests in Duo Showdown and I don't particularly like this map, but I, I didn't have much choice. So I went in and tried to get some wins. We had positions that we could have won, but me and my random couldn't put it together and kept getting third place. Finally though, we did manage to get some wins, but it honestly wasn't the best show. And then my friend Koala invited me in and things definitely turned around. Dude, these guys, these guys are getting eaten up. That wasn't even close, bro. I collected an awesome quest, which gave me 250 credits. And then that's when I realized I'd be able to swap off Leon when Chuck arrived, which was my plan, at least in that moment. Now we kept playing and the games were going pretty darn good. And as normal, my star drops were well, pretty crap until I pulled this mythic. <gasps> Okay. Give me a mythic brawler. Give me a mythic brawler. I mean, I need coins, but that's a little disappointing. So maybe not the best mythic, but honestly, I'll take coins any day. And after finally finishing off the kill quest, I called it a day, leaving me only 440 more trophies to go to reach my goal. Now, I think that we can all agree that one of the most irritating quests is the play again one, but not wanting to spend my rerolls, I decided to just bite the bullet and finish it off. Now I was playing with my friend Thunder, so it should have been an easy quest to finish, but no. Even after telling him, bro did not understand the assignment. And to make matters worse, I was playing with Hank, and I think that Hank is my least favorite brawler in this game. His playstyle is just like so slow. I think I'd rather get punched in the twig and berries than to play Hank. But if I'm going to reach my goal, I'm just going to have to do it. So I did. And I think Brawl Sarge was feeling bad for me, so they gave me this. So that's a craptastic gadget. Finally, I got too frustrated playing Hank, and so I just finished the day playing some Dynamite and feeling super aggravated at Brawl Stars. And they must have known that because they gave me yet another insane star drop that honestly perfectly described how I felt in that moment. So once again, it's that time in every video where I get heartbroken because my hard work just gets taken from me. Oh no, they're taking away my trophies. But on the bright side, we had all the game modes back and double star drops. All I had to do was just win a game. Yeah, we never stood a chance, bro. We never stood a chance. Yeah, good. thumbs up to me, bro. Okay, all right, maybe next one. Come on, are you kidding me right now? Oh, uh, <coughs> here we go again. Well, good job, Edgar. You did, you did, you did nothing. You did nothing, Edgar. This day was the tale of bad randoms. Now, sure, I might have picked a brawler that like wasn't the best at Cavern Churn, but I mean, I had a quest. Now, the games went either one of two ways: either I spawned in and watched my teammate die over and over. Oh, bro, you died five times. You died five times, Buzz. Or I was the bad random and my teammates weren't so happy with my choice of brawler. No, 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 no. You're happy about it. You're happy. You're happy. I mean, listen, Bo, I may not have done any damage, but we lived and we got some trophies. So just chill out, okay? Now, I would love to tell you that this was an exciting day and that I gained tons of trophies, but only one of those two things is true. And it's uh, not the fun part. As I mentioned, I hate playing Hank, but I, I got to. So I pushed him to almost 500 trophies while completing my quests. Once I get 500 trophies with this dude, I am not playing this guy anymore. And to top that off, my star drops for the day were just double disappointment. I've got 13,000. I've been saving my coins like crazy. I kind of want to buy a hypercharge. Am I crazy right now? Not being able to make up my mind, I set my sights to the task at hand quests and star drops and let's just say that it didn't start off so well and maybe i should have teamed dude, i don't even think i got a kill dude i sucked so i swapped everyone's favorite brawler and yeah things did not improve how did he get 13 cubes that quick we just started the game so i bailed and i just started playing knockout with some of my friends and after 20 minutes of playing i finally won my first game and my reward rare now here is where I wish I could tell you how we just stomped everyone from here on out, but no. It was just back and forth the entire day, and after over an hour, an hour of playing, 
I had only gained 40 trophies. Not a good day. Now, over the next few days, I mainly just played to get quests, but I did finally manage to get my Hank to 500 trophies, so that means that I never have to play him again till I need to push up to 50,000 trophies. Crap. On day 292, I was immediately greeted with a surprise. Now, it was just a gadget, but at least it was a good one. Right after that, my next star drop, I was treated once again. Okay, maybe we get a Mythic Brawler. We get a Gus Clapping Pin. I mean... That, however, was about the best thing that was going to happen this day because it was another brutal grind. I can really feel the difference between Power 9 Brawlers now and what they used to be. It's made it so much harder to compete with the 11s out there. And after over an hour of playing with randoms, I gained 14 trophies. 14! <sighs> now, I only had one more day to get this challenge complete, but... I did have to take some time off to go support Tilly in her school's fun run. So you remember at the start of this video when I told you I was gonna do something that you might consider cheating? Well, one of the perks of being a Supercell creator is that they have a system that rewards you for reaching certain milestones on various platforms. And since I've done pretty decent for myself, I was able to redeem some codes for a few different skins. Now this didn't give me any new brawlers, but I was able to pick up these skins for free. We got Headless Rider Stu, Goblin Carl, and then we've got Underworld Bow, which is an amazing skin as well. And uh, I've got all three of these skins now and they didn't cost me a single dime. So, so is this cheating? I mean, I don't think so. I'm still completely free to play, but I mean, hey, follow me over on Twitter or uh, X and I'll be giving away some of these skins to you guys as well. Just as long as you say I didn't cheat. Also, if you saw my video of me putting my phone number in game, then you'll know my friend Moto Moto. I saw him online and I just had to play some games with Mute. Now, while we didn't do the best, we had fun playing and we did manage to win some games. But at the end of my allotted time playing for this video, I fell short of my goal. So to make myself feel better, I opened up my very last free legendary star drop in the shop. And what I got, I just, come on, just come on, just come on. Oh. Yeah, that, that that didn't make me feel any better. I mean, it is one of the exclusive sprays. I know it is, but... So I decided to pull the trigger and upgrade another brawler to power level 11 with a hypercharge. And boom, we now have an active hypercharge on our brawler. So then, after 10 months of being a free-to-play, I've got almost 28,500 trophies, some really cool skins, a hypercharge, but really the takeaway is... I need more brawlers! I need more brawlers. Spoiler alert, the next episode is going to get spicy.